A while back, I made a video where I consolidated scripts with case statements. And when I showed off that snapshot script, it listed out all my snapshots. And to my dismay, I had very few snapshots and they were very sporadic and just well, they were well spread out over the past several, several months. And while this is kind of a good thing, there wasn't very many and they weren't by the day or by the hour or what have you. So I decided it was time to make a hook for my package manager to run a script before each time a package was installed or removed. And it was surprisingly easy. And if you're using ButterFS on a Debian-based system, this should work for you as well. Now, I haven't looked into doing this for Arch or Void or Fedora or Gentoo or whatever distro you might be running. But since Debian and DevOne are my distros of choice, that's what I focused on. So let's take a look at my app config. On Debian and Dev1, this folder is located in etsyapt aptconf.d. So if we CD there and run an LS, we see files for CD mount, trust CD ROM, auto remove, list changes, dev comp and one more file that's not there by default. I named it 80 snapshot conf. So I'm just gonna cat that file out and we'll have a look at it. So cat 80 snapshot conf. And you see it's just a one line file. And it's pretty simple. So dpkg is the program used to install packages even though apt is responsible for locating and downloading these packages. So when dpkg is called to run in apt before it installs any packages, so pre-invoke, it's going to run this script, which snapctl root. And that's pretty much the whole file. So I probably could have used apt instead of dpkg, but I didn't get it working with upgrade, only with update. And that was not the functionality I was going for. I wanted a snapshot of my root file system whenever there was a change to the installed packages, not when updates were run. So if I were to open a terminal and run sudo apt update, you see apt behaves pretty normally. Now, just don't mind any of that. I've got to refresh, refresh my Plex keys, I guess. Not a big deal. But if I were to run sudo apt upgrade, and it actually had packages to upgrade to, it would have run sudo snapctl root to take a snapshot of my root file system before it ever installed anything. Now I can hear you typing furiously in the comments right now. Mike, you can just make an alias and it's problem solved. And to that I say, not quite. While this setup does take snapshots when upgrading, it also takes snapshots when installing and removing packages too. So if I were to run Let's say sudo apt install htop. So let me just type that out. sudo apt install htop. And see, it actually downloaded htop, then made a snapshot, and then continued installing. But it also does it when, it when it removes packages too. Honestly, it will actually do it when installing, removing, purging, auto removing, and satisfying dependencies. So pretty much any time dpkg is called to install or change a package, it takes a snapshot. Oh, and by the way, this setup also works with Nala, if you're using that instead of apt. But let me show that real quick. Let's run sudo nala remove htop. And see it created a snapshot here too. If you're looking to perform a similar task, just know that this command does not have to be my script. Time shift can be used. Just enter the relevant time shift commands and flags where I'm calling up the snap CTL script. And also, if the gears in your head are turning right about now, just know there are several options available for this type of thing. Just check out the app.conf man page. And in that man page, I'm just going to kind of give you a few examples. You can have scripts to run pre-install, post-install. You can set build options, compression, set binary file size limits. You can set build profiles for dependency resolution. You can force IPv4, IPv6. You can allow insecure repos. Have dpkg cd into a certain directory before installing or 
even configure pending installs to wait until the last apt command before it ever installs anything. So it actually installs everything all at once. And I can't really think of why you'd want to do that unless you're like writing a your own custom installer or something. I don't, I don't know. But there's way more options than what I listed out here. So if you're interested, check out the app.conf man page. A lot of great information in there. So that's about all I've got for today. I just kind of wanted to show an easy way to get automatic ButterFS updates going on Debian or Debian-based systems without relying on a separate program, which probably isn't in the Debian repos anyway. So with all that said, thank you for watching. Like the video. Share if you think it would help someone. And subscribe if you like what I'm doing on the channel. And if you want some more sporadic Linux content. As always, I'm Mike. You're awesome. Later.